Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is another gnome project. I had no idea of the explosive popularity of gnomes here recently. I didn't notice it until I was in the craft store a couple weeks ago and I seen all the gnome themed decor and then I seen it at other stores like the big box stores where they just had different gnome decor. My mom even got into the gnome craze. She's painted some ceramic gnome figures which I'll show you at the end of the video. But I've got all the patterns printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape and then I have a fence slap back here, or really a shipping crate slap back here. This is going to be the base of everything, so it's going to be a gnome welcome sign. The majority of this project is quarter inch plywood, except for the nose, which I'm going to use one half inch material to give it some thickness and dimension, but we have the gnome's hat, we have the word welcome, and then we have his long scraggly beard here but really really cool this would make a great project to sit in a window or sit on a front porch and if anyone is ever curious about the quarter inch plywood I use it is this right here I just peeled it off the sheet I bought but it's revolution ply I get this at Lowe's it's around 28 to 32 dollars a sheet depending on where I'm at but it's just shy of one quarter inch plywood and it cuts just as good as Baltic birch plywood in my opinion as long as you keep a sharp blade in it but since everything is prepared and I'm ready to get started let's head over to the drill press so we can head back to the scroll saw and start scrolling and over here on the drill press we're going to begin by drilling the only two pilot holes that this project has then we're going to head over to the scroll saw here and begin scrolling. I am using number 5 ultra reverse scroll saw blades for all the cutting on this project. And they will cut through all the material exceptionally well. Now that the two interior cuts are done, I retension the blade and all the remaining cuts will be outside cuts where you follow the perimeter of the cut line and release the piece from the waste wood. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. Gnomes are all the rage now. As I said, I had no clue of the popularity of the little guys. But just going through here and taking my time and letting the blade do the work. I am not forcing the material into the blade. I'm essentially just guiding the wood through the blade along the cut line. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now working on the letters that will make up the word welcome. I do think this project would be a good project if you're a beginning scroll sawing for cutting out letters. Good practice and these letters are nice and big. Gives you some practice with those tighter turns if you're new to scrolling. But again, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Cutting out the final letter here. And then all the scroll work will be done. Not a very complicated pattern at all, if you're familiar with a scroll saw. But now we will go over to the workbench and remove all the pieces from the waste wood and take everything to sanding. And I will use 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander and sand the front and back of everything. It was easier for me to sand the individual letters by hand as you see me doing here. But after all the sanding done it is time to paint and you can paint everything whatever color you want. gave everything a few nice coats made the gnome's beard snowy white and I had to use some acrylic craft paint just to paint the hat 
again these are colors that I wanted to use you can let your imagination run wild when it comes to painting and finishing any kind of project but after all of this dried it was time to assemble the project and I am using one inch brad nails and my brad nailer laying everything out making sure it looks good but just tacking everything in with a few tacks and once everything was how I liked it we moved on to finishing and I gave it several coats of clear gloss and the project was complete and here we have the completed gnome welcome sign cut out completely on the scroll saw and then attached to a fence slat and it came out amazing thank you Steve Good for another great pattern from your catalog really really had fun making this one and the clear coat we added at the end really made everything pop keep in mind that the clear coat we added really serves only to protect the scroll work that we done in the video and that we painted and all because fence slats are usually already treated to withstand rain and mother nature and everything out in the environment but it came out great it only took me around 20 to 25 minutes to cut this project out it's not a complicated pattern and it only has two internal cuts that being in the O and in the nun's mouth the rest are just basic cuts and I think this would be a great project if you're just beginning with a scroll saw to try cutting out some letters and words but really really cool I had fun making this this will look great on a front porch right by the side of the door where it's intended to go or maybe right inside the front door or if you've got like a foyer or something where you can welcome people maybe put it there put some plants around it a lot of options for displaying this I also think you could add maybe a kickstand on the back like an easel to where it could stand out in the yard I do not know how long the quarter inch and half inch material would last out in nature like that so just keep that in mind I think you could also make a bunch of these by batching these out and stack cutting the majority of the parts and paint them stain them make a variety of them and present them as gifts during the springtime but really really amazing it's hard to get it all in one shot Again, I'm totally unaware of the popularity of gnomes, and as I said at the beginning, my mom has even made two gnome ceramic figurines, and they are beach-going gnomes. So gnomes are not a seasonal thing just for spring. They're for all year round, but my mom has a ceramic shop, Turtle Dove Ceramics, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below to her Instagram page. She doesn't post there often, but she does post, but really, really cool. She has the molds, the kilns the slip that goes in them and then she comes back and hand paints everything she specializes in the dry brushing technique but these are in her beach decor room and I went and got these so I could show them to you guys during this project video but really really cool once again I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel all my social media links will always be linked down in the description box below also follow me over on Instagram link below as well that's about all for this one. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.